make sure I can see myself. Oh, snap. Hello, good morning. Oh, God. Dog toys everywhere. Get this dog toy out of here. <laughs> good morning. Oh, I'm going to wait for you guys to hop on a little bit. The stretch. You guys, we've made it. It's Friday. I can't freaking believe it. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm going to say this insane amount of hours. And if you've worked this much or been paid this much in a two week period, I'd love to know. Um, as of yesterday, plus I had holiday pay, so I had like double pay last Monday on Memorial Day. But with that, like, and I haven't even worked today, 112 hours for these last two weeks. And then I have to work today, which is our busiest day. So, <laughs> that's why we've entitled this, Be Better Have My Money, uh, Revenge Body Style, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Good morning. All right, let's just start warming up. People will hop on here in a second. So just roll the shoulders back. I'm excited. Today's workout, we're going to do com compound, compound, compound movements. So upper and lower body. Move those arms forward. Upper and lower body at the same time. Um, so you're going to get the most bang for your buck. So I'm very excited about this. We're going to have no timer. So I got to use my old phone and hope that it doesn't malfunction like it did the other day. Maybe Mercury is in retrograde or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Rotate side to side. I hope you're excited. I wish more people were on <clears throat> today, but it's okay. We've got Bobby. We've got Kendra. I wonder if the other chickadees are going to join us today too. Um, but even if you're not with us right now at 5 a.m. and you're watching the replay, what up though? What up though? All right, squat it down. Whoo! Uh, sleeping in tomorrow. <laughs> I cannot wait to sleep in tomorrow, dude. It is gonna be. <sighs> this is how bad it was. I woke up and like tried to go back to sleep because in my dream I was solving a problem at work. Like, <laughs> and then I was like, oh shoot! Hold on, I gotta wake up. Also, I'm excited because my pre-workout came yesterday. Finally, so I didn't have to wake up as early to make like a cup of coffee um, with my French press. Okay, just one more squat. Okay, should we do one more, one more squat? Hold on, let's do a squat with the knee because I kind of really want to warm you up. With that knee, rotate towards that knee. So I really want to get you just a little more warmed up before we hit this first set. So, we're basically going to do one move, one compound movement, upper and lower body. And the goal is to pick a heavy enough weight that by reps 10 and 12, you couldn't do one more, even if I tried to pay you like $5 to do one more. Okay? And it's a finesse. Like, sometimes it's hard to, you know, pick the sweet spot of the weight that's going to get you to that point. Um, because sometimes you pick too heavy and you want to fatigue out <laughs> within like the first like four reps and then sometimes the weight's too light that you're like, ah, that was it. So try your best. Try your best. All right. Hopefully feeling good. I think I am. I think I'm ready to hit it. Oh, Bobby, your baby is graduating. I can't believe you have a baby old enough to graduate high school. That's insane. Okay, first exercise. Um, it's going to be a sumo squat. You're gonna come up and then you're gonna bicep curl. Um, I wanna do it at an angle, um, you know, not just the traditional bicep curl. So you're gonna hold your weight, you can hold it on your side, and then boom, we're gonna curl up like that. I'm gonna be ambitious, but also have an exit strategy just in case. Um, so I'm gonna start with 15s. I've got the 12s next to me, just in case this is a little bit too over ambitious. All right, got your weights, ladies. All right, and if you don't have heavy enough weights, you can do this super slow and controlled to make fatigue happen, okay? Here we go. So 
We're coming down nice and slow. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze that booty. Bicep curl, light grip on those weights. I think that's the theme for this week. Yes, down. So this is our second rep. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. I want you to be intentional. These are only 10 to 12 reps because we're going slow. Because we're thinking about every single movement. Squeeze your butt cheeks together. <laughs> and this is number three. Yes. Yes. Did anyone check out my Spotify link or is that just for me? <laughs> Did I make that just for me? Nice and slow with that bicep curl. Slow and controlled down. That eccentric movement. That movement down is just as important, right? Squeeze. <laughs> this is number five. You should be starting to feel it at this point. It should be like, okay, all right, I'm working on it. I'm lifting some heavy weights right now, but also still able to push through because we have five to eight more reps. <sighs> nice and slow. Obviously, I feel like the legs are going to take a little more to fatigue than the arms, so think about your biceps. How are they feeling? Are you going slow enough? Is it too heavy? If it is, quickly grab other weights. Is it too light? If you can, grab other weights. If you don't have other weights, this is why I'm going this slow. Squeeze the muscle fiber. Look at it. Control it. This is number eight. Squeeze. Perfect. Control that breathing. Make this tough. You know what I'm saying? Make this tough. Make your workouts harder, make your life easier. All right, so this is number 10. You should be feeling this. Yes, so you have permission to stop anywhere between reps 10 and 12, but you have to stop because if you keep going, your form is going to fail. So this is number 11. Yes, I'm gonna go to 12. I can go to 12. Surprisingly, which is crazy to me, because I was maxing out on 12s for my biceps. But I guess I'm not fatigued yet, that's why. <laughs> slow, slow, control, control, control. Nice. Put down those weights, shake it out. All right, perfect. So next one is going to be a deadlift with a row. So y'all know these movements. You have the weights here. Lift with the tailbone, back is flat, shoulders back and down. So pulling your chest open, you're going to come down into your deadlift, um, come up halfway, row it, and then come up all the way. So you're going to come down, hit that deadlift, come up halfway to that 45 degree angle, squeeze those shoulder blades together, and then stand up. Yes? 10 to 12. I want to do 20, but I know in my heart I could probably do 25. And you know what's really funny is sometimes we psych ourselves out and we're like, ah, I can't do 25. And then you can, uh, except for today these feel really heavy, so I'm going to stop talking as much. Let's go for it. Yeah? Here we go. Shoulders back and down. Three, two, one. Come down. Down. Yes, hit that deadlift. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Use those hamstrings right here. Row. Nice. And then come up. So that's one. Oh, Lordy. This is the perfect weight, but also it's very challenging. So come up 45 degrees. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Abs are still pulled in. Squeeze and lift up. So this is number three. So you see the pace now, yes? We're going fast. I mean, we're not going fast. <laughs> We're going slow and controlled. This is number four. 45 degrees. Squeeze. Oh, these are heavy weights. Heavy, heavy weights. And sometimes it kind of sucks because when you lift heavy weights, it's like your forearms get fatigued before these large muscles do. Number five. Oh, mama. So that's what's happening for me right now. But I'm going to push through. This is number six. Halfway up. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Lift all the way up. Squeeze that booty. 
Number seven. Nice, control it, halfway up. Squeeze. This is number eight. I'm gonna make it to 10. In my head already, I'm making it to 10 because my, my forearms hurt so bad right now. So I've got two more. If you are feeling good, um, then you've got four more, right? So counting your reps. So this is rep number 10 for me. Leave with that tailbone. Nice, halfway up, row. Nice, and I'm gonna put down these weights for me. If you're still going, you've got two more reps. Nice and slow down, 45 degrees, halfway up. Squeeze, and then one more. You come down, if you're going to 12, if you're going to 12, yes? Squeeze those shoulder blades, come up, and then put down your weights. Nice work, nice work. And sometimes that happens, man. Like, like your forearms are just an innocent bystander, especially when you start living, lifting heavier and heavier. And some days my grip is really good. And then days like this, I just haven't get, been getting as much sleep. So, you know, you just have to roll with the punches. Okay, so the next one, we're gonna have one weight. Back to your sumo squat, okay? One weight, sumo squat. You're gonna come down, lift up, and then at the top, your elbows are gonna be in, you're gonna do tricep extension, and then go again. Down and up, tricep extension. Or is it, or, is, or are you holding it here? Down, up, lift up, and down. I don't know, we'll figure out what feels better. <laughs> How about that? I'm trying to think what, if I want you to have the weights down when we do a sumo squat, or the weights up? What am I gonna do? Let's do, mm, I think I'm gonna have the weights down when we're, when we're doing our squat, yeah? Does that sound good? Okay, I'm gonna do a 20. I'm gonna do a 20, right? Or no, the weight's right here. Yeah, no, this is fine, okay. Sumo squat, sumo squat, ready? So, both your hands are in between that dumbbell. Here we go. So, we're gonna come down, squeeze up, tricep extension, pull, push those elbows together because they're gonna want to naturally bow out, but you gotta fight to keep them together. Like someone's holding your elbows in your sides. So down, squeeze, tricep extension. That's number three, yes. Down, up, tricep extension. Woohoo! So really, you gotta think about that form. Think about the form, pull those abs in, down and up. So maybe not as heavy as we would normally go for either one of these exercises, but together, they get the heart rate up because you're using that large muscle in your legs. You're also working that small muscle in those triceps. This is number six, halfway there. <sighs> Avoid trying to go faster because I know that happens when we start to get tired. You wanna go faster so it'll be over quicker, but you gotta go slow. You gotta go slow. Ooh, I think I might hit 10. I don't know, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try, I'm starting to get fatigued. Oh boy, it's number eight. Whew, elbows in. This is number nine. Oh, I'm only making it to 10. I'm only making it to 10, y'all. Ooh, yes. Carefully bring that weight down if you made it to 10. Squat down and up if you're going again. Lift up, tricep extension. One more, down, squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then tricep extension, elbows in. Carefully bring the weight down. Avoid smashing the head and with the weight down. Nice job. Wow, rep six, I was in it for the long haul. Rep seven, I'm only making it to 10. That's how quickly the fatigue can kick in, right? But you know your body, you have to know, especially if you're doing overhead stuff, don't try to be a hero, right? Because our shoulders will do weird things when we get fatigued and that's where injury comes in. So, all right, we are pushing through this. We're halfway, halfway done. Okay, this one, bowler's lunge with a single arm row. 
So you gotta think about something that will be, I would not do as heavy with double arm. Maybe do like half of what you would do for your row. So if I'm doing 25 for my row, maybe I would do like a 15 for this one. Um, so 15 or a 12. So you're gonna have your boulders lunge. So imagine like you just bowl a strike. The idea here is that you can lift up your back leg without much effort because you know why? All that weight is in that front leg. So you're pushing that hip out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have one hand on the hip, come down, up, and then you're gonna row. Yes, down, up, you're gonna row. We're gonna do 10 to 12 on each side. So try to rep it out, right? That's why I want you to pick that weight where we hit 10 or we hit 12 like I just had and I can't go anymore. I can't go anymore, okay? So I'm gonna pick a 15 because um, I think that's gonna be challenging enough. I think by the time I get to 10 to 12, this is gonna be really difficult. Um, if we were doing six to eight, probably do a 20. All right, so one leg forward, okay. So it'll be your right leg, my left leg. Bring that opposite leg back behind, yes. So be able to bring up that back foot without much effort, hand on the hip for stability, and we're going. Down, up, now row. Beautiful. This is two, row. Ooh, maybe I could have gone heavier. Down, up, but that's okay. I picked my weight, now I have to deal with it. <laughs> yes, down and up. This is four, so now I'm really gonna really, really think about squeezing that shoulder blade in the middle of my back to really make this worth my while, right? Because 15 sounded heavy, but these are the largest muscles in your body right now. Yes, your legs and your back, it can, it can lift pretty heavy. So I'm on six. <sighs> Pull those abs in to support that lower back. That's why we have the hand on the hip for stability. But also when we do that row, we've got to pull those abs in. It's like your girdle. Yeah, <laughs> this is number eight. Nice work. Are you breathing? Are you feeling good? <sighs> Remember the theme. Be better have my money. Oh my goodness. Well, now I know. Now I know. Next time I can go heavier. This is nine. Now we're hitting ten. Although I'm finally starting to kind of feel it. Yes. This is eleven. Perfect. And then my last rep, my last rep, 12. Nice, switch other side, switch other side. So I, if I were to do this again, I'd probably pick a 20, but because I wanna be even on both sides, I'm gonna to stick to my 15, and I'm gonna really try to slow it down so that I can really feel every movement. Oh, is my life working? Hopefully, okay. Uh, oh, does it work? Are you guys here? Can you hear me? Oh no, can you guys hear me? Are we good? Are we good? Hopefully. Hold up. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Is this working? Oh, okay. Okay. Here, hold on. Uh-oh. Okay. All right, is it, is it back? Can you guys let me know? Can you see me? Is it working? I don't think it is. Maybe we'll do part two. Uh-oh. Oh, it seems better now? Oh, okay, good. Woohoo! All right, can we continue? Well, it was a good time for it to mess up. So we're gonna do the other side, other side. Ready? Okay, so if you're here, let me just double check something. Oh, here it is. Okay, it's doing. It's good. It's good. Okay. 
All right, other leg. Let's do this, you guys. Hand on the hip. This is your left leg now. Right arm. Come down. Lift up. Squeeze that shoulder blade. Yes. Down and up. Squeeze that shoulder blade. Sorry, guys. My internet is acting really strange here at the house, so I turn off my Wi-Fi. <sighs> Thanks for your patience, y'all. This is number three. So really, chest is up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Push that hip out. Push that hip out. Come on. It's that revenge body, right? Get that in your mindset. Revenge body, right? Like, check my booty out. Check my back out. <laughs> you can't have. Dang, bring it down. Whoa, don't fall over, Jen. Lift up. So this is number five for six. Let's just say it's five. This is six. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze that booty. Squeeze that shoulder blade into the middle of your back. Yes. This is number seven. Pulling those abs in. Squeeze. Slowly control it down. Eight. Business time, right ladies? Business time. Like we are not messing around. It is Friday. We are setting the tone for our day. Here we go, we're in number nine. Oh, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. <laughs> I got my wish. This is number 10. <sighs> breathing through it, breathing through it. <sighs> this is number 11. Nice. One more, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Squeeze and down. Perfect. All right. That one's in the bag. So I want you to get your band if you have your band. Grab your band. We're doing bicep curl with a abductor balance. Okay. So grabbing our band, bringing it about the middle of your calf and then I'm gonna probably choose my 15s because I'm feeling feeling good today this pre-workout's finally like hitting my system I think so I feel like I can lift heavier than what I typically feel like I can all right so this is what it's gonna be so can I show you real quick we're gonna do bicep curl with abductor or wait abductor and bicep curl and then as you bring the arms down, you bring the leg down. What? Okay? We're just gonna alternate side to side. 10 to 12, that's, that's the goal, okay? Here we go. So right leg, right leg, right leg, she says to herself, right leg. Here's one, yes? And then as you bring that leg in, you bring those arms down and bring that foot down. This is two, two. Perfect, slow it down. This is number three. So pull those abs in. You gotta keep that balance, right? You gotta keep that tension on that band. And you gotta try to not fall over. <laughs> this is number four. Perfect, perfect. You're awesome, you're amazing. We are killing this. This is number five. Yeah, baby. Number six. So you're holding that leg up as you curl it up and then slowly bringing that leg down as you bring those arms down. This is number seven. Yeah, I'm feeling it and I hope you are too. This is where you're gonna wanna go faster, but I'm gonna urge you to slow it down, to take your time, to think about it. What muscles are you working right now? I'm making it to 10. I'm making it to 10. I am fatiguing out for sure. For freaking sure. So this is number nine. This is 10. Remember, if you're gonna make it to 12, I actually might try actually. Actually, actually. So this is number 11. I'm going for it. Did you hear me? I'm going for it. My form is still there. I'm just tired, that's all. My form is still there though. So I'm gonna hit this 12th one. This is where it counts, that last rep. Oh my gosh, bring that foot down, bring it down. Oh yeah, that's the sweet spot. Bring those weights down, 
that was absolutely perfect for me and I hope you felt that too because you could have waved a dollar at my face couldn't do that 13th rep even if I was like yeah no I it, that was a struggle that was a struggle nice work all right last two exercises last two exercises this one we're gonna do six on each leg so the leg movement is a reverse lunge so you're gonna go reverse lunge you're gonna have two weights 45 degrees tricep kick back then when you go to stand up you're gonna lift your knee up yes so we're doing double arm for your tricep so we're fatiguing these arms 12 reps total six on your right six on your left so pick a heavy enough weight it's going to challenge your triceps and also challenge your balance okay i'm going with 12s i'm going with 12s all right ladies here we go so pick a leg right leg forward left leg back all right so reverse lunge 45 degrees elbows are in kick back bring it in that's one yes Bring this foot down, 45 degrees. Kick back, that's two. Elbows pinched at our sides, yes? Imagine someone's holding your elbows in place. This is number three. Yeah, lift that knee up. Perfect. Back at 45 degrees, abs pulled in. This is four. Two more on this leg, two more on this leg. One more, one more, and then we're gonna switch legs. We're gonna switch legs. Perfect, switch legs. Other knee is up, step it back. So now we have six on this side. Or four if your arms are super fatigued. If your arms get fatigued, you're just gonna do the last two with lifting the knee up. Reverse lunge and lifting the knee up. So we got four more. Squeeze those triceps, relax your shoulders. As we start to get tired and we have a lot of tension, our shoulders like to creep up into our ears. So pay attention. This is our last two. So if your arms are spent, you can put the weights down and just finish the reverse lunge and lift that knee. Last one, y'all, last one. Squeeze those triceps, bring it in. Knee is up and release. Nice job. Whoo! Love compound movements, don't you? We're like get, getting this job freaking done, ready for the weekend. Y'all I'm saying, last exercise for strength. Last exercise for strength. Okay, triple push-up. What's a triple push-up? Triceps, then regular. So regular chest push-up, and then X push up. So then your feet will be X, your arms will be wide, and you're gonna do an X push up. Bring it all back in, tricep push up, feet a little bit wider, hands wide, regular push up, feet extra wide, hands wide, X push up. Yes, so it's a triple push up tricep, regular chest, arms, and legs out for a wide push up. Okay? If you need to come to your knees, that's okay. But I put these push-ups at the end because I hope you're fatigued. Goal is 10 to 12. So maybe you'll do three sets of them. If you can hit that fourth set, awesome. If not, don't worry about it, okay? So I like to bring my elbows in. Thumbs are facing up. So that's a great way. Remember, it's not about the depth of your tricep. It's not about the depth of the tricep push-up, right? So elbows are pulled in. If I can only come down here before my elbows start bowing out and I'm like doing that weird like dip thing when our triceps get tired, that's okay. Start where you're at. It's a small muscle. It's a very small muscle, okay? So do what you can, but think about your form. And don't, 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 don't be like, dang it, why can't I do it? Just focus on what you can, okay? Here we go. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna start on my toes. If I come down to my knees, that's okay too. Here we go. Triceps, so feet are in, um, elbows are in, tricep push-up. So here's tricep push-up. Now feet a little bit normal apart, hands normal apart, chest push-up, hands wide, feet wide, wide push-up. Yes, so that's one set. Back to narrow, tricep. This is our second set. 
Regular push up. You can bring your feet a little bit wider, keep them close. Now hands even wider, feet wide, wide push up. Nice, this is our third set. You got this? Tricep. Regular push up. Wide push up. All right, can you do one more? Can you do one more set? I know I can. It's hard, but I need you to push. Tricep. Ooh, mama. Regular push up. Now wide. That's it. Wide push up. Yes. Yes. Nice job. Nice job. Do you want to do a finisher or should we call it quits? Should we do a finisher? It's 531. One more minute. You down? Give me a thumbs up if you're down. Because if you are, we'll do this real quick. Yeah? No one's giving me a thumbs up. <laughs> They're like, no, I don't want to finish her. Well, too bad, you're getting it. <laughs> Thanks, Bobby. Okay, your finisher, if, hopefully you have enough room. If not, I've done it in smaller spaces than this. That's what she said. Side to side, and then you're gonna go burpee and lift. Side to side, so as much room as you have, you're gonna shuffle side to side, hit your burpee, no jump, just side to side shuffling, okay? Here we go. <laughs> you ready? You ready? I gotta get these weights out of here. One minute and then we stretch, okay? Let go, let go. So I'm shuffling, burpee. Shuffling, burpee. This dog bed is way too big for these small dogs. So I make it work, look. I make it work, make it work with what you got. Right? It's not about what you have. It's not about your resources. It's your resourcefulness. It's your resilience. It's your mindset. Yeah? How bad do you want it? What do you want for yourself? Right? Hold yourself to a higher standard. Stop accepting bullshit from yourself and other people. Set your boundaries. Oh, hi. Don't fall over, she says to herself. <laughs> Come on. Come on. This is our last 15 seconds. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Come on. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Let's go, let's go. Come on. I need more from you and from myself. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. Yes, that's the good stuff right there. Inhale up. Exhale, you know. Exhale. This is the feeling you should have. Yeah? That's what I want. When I say a finisher, I mean a finisher. I don't mean like, oh, I'm going to walk there. I mean, we are sprinting to the finish line. <laughs> Reach your arm to the side. <laughs> Switch other side. So. For me, um, I know I can push myself harder, especially when we do a finisher like that. You're tired, it's the end of the workout. You just wanna hop in the shower and go, but no. Set yourself to a different standard, right? Remember, remember my rule when you work out with me, 10% more, 10% more. It's small, but it's that 10% that's really gonna separate you from the rest and separate you from your old self. Bring those hands back behind you. Push that chest forward. <sighs> nice work. Deep inhale, exhale. So I hope you check out my Spotify playlist. Every day, if you can't tell, we have a theme. And it's, an, and it's a little anthem of the day. So today's anthem is Rihanna's, Rihanna or Rihanna? Um, her song. Beat, beat better have my money. <laughs> Cause that's my revenge body theme for today. It's not payday, unfortunately. One leg forward, but it's that theme. Walk, walk around. You gotta walk around like people owe you money. <laughs> At least in the workout, that's how you should have worked out. Like, uh-uh, less this, more this. 
right? Less talky, more action. And I hope you got the action in today. We sure freaking did. That was awesome. I'm so, I'm so grateful for you guys. I'm so grateful for you. Um, thank you for working out with me this week. It's been so fun. I, I, it's been a long week. I'm ready to just like Netflix and chill, like literally chill. Um, <laughs> nice, inhale up. If you need more stretching, you can do it, but I gotta get ready for work. It's Friday. All right, guys, I'll see you on Monday. Have a great weekend.